YouTube, it's Sir, and today it's still May, and yet somehow we have the May Whims of Five Box. It arrived, and it's not June. I th I I find this uh, astonishing because they usually don't come until the next, the first or second week of the next month. If you don't know, Whimsify is a bookish subscription box that does fantasy related books. So you get a book and like four or five usually bookish related items, all with the theme. I don't remember what this month's theme is, but we shall find out when we open the box. So let's do that right now. I will also leave a link in the description down below if you are interested in checking out Whimsify and seeing if it's not something that you would like to. So we open up and right on top the theme is the magic within. On the back are the spoilers. Tells you about everything in the box and something smells like dessert-ish, which is probably this thing right here. Whimsify exclusive, you're better than waffles. Matthias Huar. Buttermilk waffle and pancake mix. No, this was not it. Okay, and there's nothing on the spoiler card about the waffle mix, but I mean, I guess it goes without saying. I just, I don't think I've read whatever book this quote is from. So if you know what book the quote is from, let me know in the comments down below. And we're gonna move these little paper thingies. Okay, we have a candle, letter from Hogwarts. So of course you can't have the magic within without Hogwarts, right? This is what I smell. It's got like a cinnamon and kind of nutty vanilla-ish. It's hard to describe. Does it say on here what scents? No, it doesn't say what scents. And then it's got some sparkles on the inside. It's got like a coffee or toffee like smell to it. Uh, we couldn't properly celebrate the magic within without something from the world of Harry Potter. This letter from Hogwarts candle was made exclusively for this box by Scent Pop Candles and smells of old books, hazelnut coffee, that's what it was, that, that's what the nut was, hazelnut, and cinnamon donuts. I got the cinnamon, no I didn't get this, did I say cinnamon? I don't even remember what I said it smelled like. Uh -huh. Let's see, the next thing I see, I think this is soap. Silvers, Red Queen. Jasmine, white musk, water, and metal from Story Sensations. Not that it's focusing or you can see it very well, but it says Story Sensations. I'm not sure how to describe that. Yeah, one of the fuzzies from this on my nose. Okay. Let's see the soup. Uh, in the Red Queen series, the reds and the silvers are warring over who holds all the magical power. Story Sensations created two exclusive soaps for this box. Reds and silvers. So I got the silvers. And then a charmed perfume oil. This is like really small. Not sure how well you can see that. How bad is this? Like, how strong is this? Not bad, but... Ooh. That smells so good. Like a flowery... And it's not overpowering, so that's really nice. 
I worry about these sometimes. Sometimes they're overpowering and it's just like, whoa, get it away from me. Oh, I didn't read the, okay. The Charmed Perfume Oil. In The Cruel Prince, being a human in the world of the magical fairies is a dangerous thing, but have no fear. Lotharati Soap? Created an exclusive Rowan Berry roll-on perfume to protect you from charms and enthrallment, just like Jude. And then there's a nice print. Dreams, dreams. I walk them, I live them. I delude myself with them. It's a wonder I can spot reality anymore. Adrian Ivashkov from Rochelle Mead. It's a nice little print. Adrian from the Vampire Academy and the Bloodline series is one of our all-time favorite bad boys. To celebrate his magical ability to walk in dreams, we've included this gorgeous quote print by Stella Bookish Art. And now we come to the book. So I think they've changed up what they were doing. I used to like that the books were wrapped in black tissue paper so that when you got to the bottom of the box you weren't spoiled. Eh. And it fits so snugly in the box. No, don't go falling because then the paper goes everywhere. Be careful here because it's also got some extra paper stuff. I don't remember what this was about exactly. Okay, so we have a bookmark with the theme and a quote on the back. get it to focus. It says, we all have darkness inside us. Real, that is what it means to be human. And we have a letter from the author. The signed book plate. The book for May is Furyborn, which I actually almost bought last night on ebook. I have heard nothing but good things about this book. So I am very excited to have it and glad that I didn't buy it. Um, and I am drawing a blank now what it's about. When assassins ambush her best friend, the crown prince, Riel Darden, I hope I'm saying that right? risks everything to save him, exposing her ability to perform all seven kinds of elemental magic. The only people who should possess this power are a pair of prophesized queens, a queen of light and a queen of blood. To prove she is the Sun Queen, Riel must endure seven trials to test her magic. If she fails, she will be executed, unless the trials destroy her first. A thousand years later, the legend of Queen Riel is a mere fairy tale to bounty hunter Elena, I think Elena Ferracora, perhaps? When the Undying Empire conquered her kingdom, she embraced violence to keep her family safe. Now she believes herself untouchable until her mother vanishes to find her. Elena joins a rebel captain on a dangerous mission and discovers that the evil at the heart of the Empire is more terrible than she ever imagined. As Riel and Elena fight in a cosmic war that spans millennia, their stories intersect and the shocking connections between them will ultimately determine the fate of their world and of each other. So there's some time... Not really I was gonna say time travel but it's not really time travel I'm not sure what to call it so that is Furyborn and that has been what all came in the May Whimsify box and June's theme is squad goals 
I'm not even like when I hear squad I think cheerleading what like what is this I'm not even sure what to think what what should I expect for next month I don't even know the sneak peek each box will include an exclusive candle by Lemon Cakes Candle Company. I have a lot of candles from the Whimsical Box. I think every box has had a candle. So, I know what I will actually... Maybe I should save this one because... If you don't know this about me, and I am ashamed to admit, I have not finished the Hogwarts series, the books. I made it through the first two, made it maybe a quarter way into the third book, and I stopped. I don't remember why, but I stopped, and I never went back. So maybe I do plan on picking up the series again. I will start from the beginning. So maybe, um, you know, letter from Hogwarts since Harry gets his letter in the first book, maybe, maybe I'll save this for that. So that is what came in the May Whimsify box. If you liked this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more bookish videos from me, including unboxings, book reviews, and book recommendations, book tags, etc, etc. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you next week with a new video. TTFN!